All right, my friends, I uh, have a special video today. Um, I'm going to let you decide what it uh, should be called, and uh, the title will be adjusted accordingly. But um, since my last videos, I've been uh, able to afford some special effects. I know usually it's just me with the, you know, the camera breathing into the, um, the microphone on the phone. No, no, we got we got some special effects this time. So here's the uh, I got the uh, the rumble effect, which is a you know, I got that now, and I got the um, no, okay. Anyways, enough with the, uh, the ridiculousness. I got uh, I wanted to show off my um, one dollar coins. Um, you're not going to see any Ikes in here. These are going to be the silver coins today. I don't have any silver Ikes, which would uh, they'd only be forty percent. I think it's forty percent silver on those. I could be wrong, <clears throat> but you're only going to find the ninety percent here today or higher, which uh, you're going to find some of these in this video. But boom. Try to pan out here. Those are my peace dollars, Morgan dollars, and you're going to find in that corner over there some of the, uh, the American Silver Eagles. I don't have many of those. I'm not really into them too much. I'll buy them once in a while. Um, when there's a good deal or maybe like you know for the new uh, series in the year but for the most part I like this stuff uh, these are cool when I get these I like to put them in the case or the capsules rather um, even if they're really bad condition like these right here these are worn they look like they might have been you know cleaned at some point or rubbed I'll still put these in one because to me these are just these are cool to collect you know and that's that's what I'm doing here I'm collecting um, I'm not necessarily saying, hey, this is going to be a you know $100 coin. I better preserve it. I'm just saying this is cool. This is my collection. I'm taking care of it by putting it in these things. You know, I got some nice ones in here. There's all different stuff. There's all different things. There's uh, all different dates, all different conditions um, over in this corner here. Uh, you know, 1921 over here. And then we're going to find, I'm just going to pick a random boom. Uh, 1988 oh you know so you can tell the condition here is a much much uh, lesser of a condition I guess how you can say but um, <clears throat> all different all different types all different mint marks everything's here I have some different uh, some rarities here I have let's see I just picked up 1921 uh, piece so there's that I have um, I have a Carson City in here somewhere, Morgan, but I mean I don't know where she is. Maybe it's this one. Nope, that's a that's a New Orleans. Or New Orleans. You say a potato, I say New Orleans. Let's see. Oh, you seen the rest of my junk over there? That's some other. That's some pennies and stuff. We won't go through that. You guys don't want to see that. Camera started getting out of control over there. There's some pennies, some uh, some weight grip things right there. You don't need to see that. That's not important. Right now we're doing this. So uh, here's some of the ones I don't have in the cases yet. This is some other junk silver you may have seen in my other videos. Just have to play in it. Mm. Anyways, let's see. So you see, see again, condition, you know, kind of awful on this one, but I'll still put it in a case. Um, better condition here. It's got some luster to it. You can see the, the cartwheel spinning for you. Cartwheel. There it is. Um, truth be told, uh, it's a fact that if I was to stack all these up straight up, um, it would reach the moon three times. No, I'm just kidding. But it's cool to have these. Um, I'm sure this is a little stack compared to some of you, of, uh, of these guys, but um, I like them. I like my little humble stack. I don't know how many dollars worth is here. 
I guess I could try to do some some quick guesstimate math. Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. I'd say there's about $100 worth here. Probably a little bit a little bit south. Maybe more like 80. Um, maybe after the video I'll actually count them up and tell you what I have just in Morgans and Pieces. But I'd say 80 bucks to be fair. At a quick glance. In fact, I will do that and I'll put it in the description after afterwards and uh, let you guys know uh, what I got. And let me know what you guys have. Let me know, um, you know, if you guys like to collect these things. 1923 piece. Uh, 19, again, that's 1923. 23. 26. A decent condition, 26. You know, I believe these peace dollars are going to be worth a lot more uh, one day because um, unlike the Morgan, which was a long series um, and had, you know, overall had millions and millions and millions of these put out, um, there's a much less million count on the peace dollars because of how long they were, uh, you know, how long the series was. So uh, if you can get them, get them because people usually sell them for cheaper than the Morgans. You know, I average $20 for a Morgan. You know, just about any condition. In fact, I, I usually don't like to buy them any more than that. Unless they're some really nice one, you know, or whatever. But that's about what I've been paying. And uh, I pay a little bit less usually for the peace dollars. You can, pay, you can pay 20 bucks or you can pay, you know, 17, 16. But I think it's a better, not as pretty of a coin. But um, I think overall there's less peace dollars total out there than Morgan's. And then you have to also consider when you see the numbers of how many were minted and you think, oh, you know, there's so many millions. Um, is that really a known number? Because a lot of these things were melted down, right? A lot of these coins, you can do the research on that, but they were melted down. Um, so who knows how many are actually really out there anymore? Lots of fakes. Definitely do some research if you're going to go out and buy these things. Look for how to tell they're fake, you know, weigh them, use the magnets, whatever. I have another video um, that kind of, it's kind of ridiculous, it takes forever for me to actually show off how to do it, but um, maybe don't even use that one, use other ones on YouTube that show off how to f uh, tell fake um, Morgans. But uh, yeah, my humble little collection. I've gotten these all over, I've gotten these from different shops, uh, I think one or two on eBay, you know, wherever I can find a good deal. So I'm going to go count these, and uh, I'll try to put in the description how many I've got at this point. This is about uh, about a year's worth of uh, collecting here, actually a little bit less than a year. So it's very manageable on a budget, because that's all I'm doing it on, tight little budget. That's how I do my stacking. Here's a nice one. Look at this before I go. 1884. Uncirculated. 1884, let me get close, I gotta get close. That's a, oh, New Orleans. Is that an O? Yeah, that's an O. That's a nice coin. Got the cartwheel. That's definitely not been cleaned, that's just, that's in its raw form right there. That's a nice coin. So again, this is just all different conditions, all different 